Welcome back everybody here on this Monday. We kick off a new week where once again we're going to have a couple of different types of weather. So we're going to warm up a little bit and then it's going to get cooler again by the end of the week. And so here's this rain that uh, has affected portions of the News 10 viewing area. We've got a center of low pressure, a disturbance in the atmosphere down here in the southeast. And we're just getting a little edge of that going on. But here's a look at what has been happening. We see we always watch the northwest to see what's going to be going on with them. And that's a very good uh, indication of what we can expect because basically speaking, weather moves. And uh, that's one of the key things to uh, forecasting weather. You figure out where the weather is, which direction it's moving, and then where it's going to be. And that's one of the ways that we can do that. And so here's a uh, look at the rain over here. It's in the uh, portions of the viewing area, but see how it's moving off here a little bit to the east as well. So tonight, after the if it's raining at your house or if you've had some light rain, we could even get some clearing tonight. So a partly cloudy sky later on tonight. In the meantime, Mattoon has 56 and Paris 55, 56 in Terre Haute, Linton 52 and Bloomington has 50 degrees, Flora has 60. So looking ahead, here we go. Uh, tomorrow, a high of 61 degrees, which is actually a little above average for this time of year. The average high is 58 and so we're up to 61 degrees and then Wednesday even warmer. Uh, of course, that is uh, Veterans Day. The thing about it is this cold front goes through here on Wednesday and then drops us down to 55 degrees on Thursday. We're going to keep an eye on this because it's not out of the question that there could be some thunderstorms associated with this front that's coming through. So we're going to continue to keep track of that for you and let you know as it gets a little bit closer what the timing of the front is going to be and what it could actually bring as far as the possibility of storms. Uh, Mattoon 5, Robinson 6, uh, Terre Haute 5, Bloomington 9. Those are the uh, wind speeds Every, everywhere else. It's for the most part uh, pretty calm. So here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. We pick it up at 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that's during the overnight hours. See how this rain moves up and out of here. And so it gets out. And then during the day tomorrow, this is noon tomorrow, a nice clear sky, going to be a really nice autumn day, really. So if you didn't get all the leaves raked or whatever this weekend, you still have a chance to do that tomorrow. But look what happens on Wednesday. This is Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. See how these clouds start coming in? And then we get into Wednesday evening at 6, the possibility of rain here. We go into the later hours on Wednesday. This is Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. Right now, during Wednesday evening after the sun sets, that's when I would expect the greater chance of showers and thunderstorms and that moves through and then during the overnight hours on Thursday the rain gets out of here. So I'll continue to get a good timeline on that for you. In the meantime, partly cloudy, a light breeze, 31 degrees for the overnight low and mostly sunny, a light west breeze tomorrow, a high of 58. That's an average high. And then for tomorrow night, mostly clear, not as cold, 41 degrees for the overnight low. And uh, so here we go. There's uh, a look at what we can expect for the next few days. Wednesday, 66, but that front goes through. And then uh, we get into Thursday, a high of 55 degrees. And once again, the weekend looks pretty nice, a little cool, but uh, the weekend looks pretty nice.